Well, hello there, internet friends. This is the first time I have been um, hands-free on the camera for a little while. Usually I'm doing the whole selfie thing. Just realized that where you are propped, I'm a little bit too tall for, so I'm going to do some squats. Today, you already know because of the title, we are going to be putting up and decorating my Christmas tree, finally. If you've just stumbled upon this video, hi, my name's Rachel, and I have already posted a video about how I decorated the rest of my apartment, so I will pop a little link to that or a card on the screen as well as in the description box so if you want to watch that first please feel free go ahead I'll still be here when you get back the tree was actually delivered on Tuesday guys look what's arrived can you see it can you see it can you see it it's killing me to not put it together right now the things I do for you and for filming oh, I can't wait to see what it looks like out of the box it is now Thursday evening. As you can imagine, it was very difficult for me to wait this long. We're gonna get into the tree, but first, I think I need to get dressed into something a little bit more appropriate. <laughs> if that actually worked, high five me, because it, it never does. Anyway, Christmas pajamas for a Christmas video. Let's get started. I'm just going to clear myself a little bit of space first. Some of you may have already worked out by looking at the box. The tree I got is from Balsam Hill. This is the Red Spruce Slim. I had considered opening this up uh, beforehand, but I wanted to, I wanted for you guys, I guess, to experience. I just realized that I have no idea if I'm opening, oh, open this end. Right. I know a lot of people are curious about Balsam Hill. It is an expensive tree brand, so I thought it would be fun for all of us to experience the unboxing together. I've never actually seen this particular tree in real life. Inside the box we have just some uh, information, assembly guide, etc. We also have a storage bag which I really appreciate because it makes it so much easier to store your tree year in year out. Looks really well packaged. It looks like it might be in either two or three sections and then you've got this little kit here which if I'm correct it should have one-handed this is really difficult yes it does it has some gloves for fluffing and some extra replacement bulbs and just bits and pieces like that to help you maintain your tree throughout the years this is the good quality bubble wrap <laughs> love it Here are all the sections unwrapped. I'm really loving this foliage. It looks so realistic. They're all labeled, so it's easy to just put it together. One, two, three. We're only just starting this process and I'm already working up a sweat. I've deconstructed the tree just because it's time to add some extra lights and I find it easier to do that section by section rather than be overwhelmed by the entire tree itself. I'm going to share a few tips while I start to apply these lights. These are cluster lights. I got them from eBay. I will share a link in the description box. I just realized you're not going to see me. You're going to be like listening to me talk while all you can see is my butt. I'm sorry. Bear with me. <laughs> I'm filming this by myself and it's a struggle. Turn your lights on before you start adding them to the tree. That way you know they definitely work. I like to work in a zigzag pattern across back and forth the tree rather than doing it around and around in a circle just because it's really difficult to get off when you do it that way whereas zigzagging it just makes that little bit easier. I'm going to push these lights into the tree for a couple of reasons. One, it uses less lights because it's going over a shorter distance and two, it means that you'll see the sort of twinkle going up the center of the tree. As you can see, I've got warm white lights to match my warm white tree. You do you, but I always suggest matching the color or the tone of your lights. 
don't get caught out with cool white lights and a warm white tree because it will drive you bonkers if you are anything like me. And I generally prefer warm white over cool white just because it has that more nostalgic feel of the old school lights before we went to all LED. And it's just more, I don't know, warm and cozy. So there we are, that's about one layer. And now I'm gonna just loop it over and then come up to the next level of branches. And these are really good because they're on a hinge, so it's easy just to lift them up and out of the way. All right, now that you get the picture, let's speed things up a bit so we can get this done. Just move the step ladder out of the way there you can see it with all the extra lights I think the general rule of thumb is that for every foot of tree you're supposed to have at least a hundred lights that string was a thousand and then the tree has a few hundred on its own so I definitely don't go by the rules that's a seven and a half foot tree and I honestly think I could put a whole nother strand on and be more than happy with that but I think it's looking really pretty it's a little bit of extra time I know it is pre-lit and the whole point is that you don't have to spend the extra time lighting the tree but I've honestly never regretted adding extra lights and I think it's worth taking the time side note I'm so ecstatic that my mirror is going to be behind the tree because it just multiplies doubles the amount of lights and that reflection is going to make it so sparkly when i turn the lights off gloves on and it is time to fluff the tree depending on which tutorial you're following or who you ask you can either start at the bottom of your tree and work your way up or start at the top and work your way down either way the key thing is to try and touch every single branch if you can and you want to spread them out almost a bit like a hand so you're trying to go out and up the idea is to try and camouflage the center of the tree as much as you can keeping in mind that certain styles of trees are made to be a little bit more spindly while other styles of trees are supposed to be quite full and fluffy and you are going to cover up some of those gaps with ornaments and picks and things like that but Spend the time, I've spent a few hours fluffing trees before, just like adding the extra lights, it's definitely worth it and it'll make your tree look a million bucks. Since we're turning into a bit of a tips and tricks video again, I thought I would try and show you this up close. So if you look at this branch here, it might be a little bit hard to see, but basically there are three individual branches in there and then on those branches there are a whole bunch of little branches. So what I like to do is first spread out the main branches as much as I can and they're wire so they are made to bend but just keep in mind that the lights are attached so you can't can't spread them out too far and then I will work from the back section where you've got these little spindly kind of more old-fashioned style branches and then I slowly move forward to these more realistic looking branches and I'll just lift them up and out trying to separate each and every one so that I can see them all and so that it looks as full as possible. I hope I'm making sense. important to fluff the back of your tree as well because that will close off some of the gaps when you look through the tree even if it is a bit of a tight squeeze to get in here. <laughs> Ooh. 
it's easy to see what a massive difference fluffing the tree makes there's still little bits and pieces even right now I can already see a bit that I missed at the top that I need to do I'll continue to play around with it but as I add picks and decorations, any sort of little leftover gaps will disappear. This is more of a spindly style tree to begin with, and I actually don't mind that at all. I'm not actually sure how long I spent on that fluffing process, but I'm about to turn into a pumpkin. So I am going to go get ready for bed and I'm going to resume the decorating tomorrow. I just turned the lights off and of course I had to turn the camera back on because Wow, she is lit. My camera is struggling to focus. There is so much going on. It's so pretty. It's now time for the fun stuff for continuity steak. I have put back on my red Christmas pajamas. Before we get started, I am going to light a candle because I stopped in at Bath and Body Works yesterday and I grabbed a couple of candles. They had two for $48, which sounds like a lot, but in Australia, a full-size candle, I mean full-size, a three-wick candle, full price is $46.95, which is just nuts. So two for $48 or $24 each is awesome. I got Twisted Peppermint and I also got Fresh Balsam. So I'm going to light Fresh Balsam. And now that we've got the tree, I want my apartment to smell like a Christmas tree as well. I'm also going to turn my TV into a fireplace to set the mood. Shout out to Nat who let me know that there is fireplace scenes also on Netflix. This is the birch wood one. So if you are looking, you can check out YouTube or Netflix and get a nice little fireplace on your television. And I feel extra festive even though it's currently 30 degrees outside. Since I don't do any ribbon, I'm going to start off with picks. I have some stems of eucalyptus from Ikea. I have some picks with berries and pine cones from eBay. And then I have these ones from last year from Kmart, although they do have them again this year. I actually want to grab a few more, but my local is sold out so I'm gonna be on the hunt to pick up just a few more of those ones last night I actually played around with separating the berry ones a little bit I'd seen a few people talk about cutting up and splitting their picks and I actually think that's a really great idea to get more bang for your buck you could easily do that with these as well and I might just chop a few of these up just so they spread a little bit further and maybe would sit better in the tree at the top where it's a little bit thinner I also have decided that I don't really love the leaves on these ones. They just sort of look a little bit too fake. So I'm going to pull those apart and play around with these a little bit. I think I'll start with the eucalyptus and work from there. Hey Google, play me some Christmas music. Okay, here's a playlist on Spotify called Christmas Pop. <laughs> showing you up close because I know it's a little bit hard to see from a distance but that is the eucalyptus in it's a great way to get an idea of the color of the tree itself this is more of a gray blue kind of green tone and this is definitely more of a warm green which I quite like because it contrasts nicely together I may move little bits and pieces but I think you kind of just have to get it on the tree and then once everything's on see how it looks and make adjustments as you need to picks definitely took me a lot longer than expected but I'm really happy with the result to be honest I think that you could almost stop here and the tree still will look decorated and really pretty I actually really like it just as is but of course I'm still going to add decorations I'm glad I took the time to split out those picks because they were while they were a little bit fiddly they were just a little bit too much as one I think I kept about three full and the rest I separated into about three pieces and then the little Kmart picks are just quite subtle but 
really nice. They look really sweet and just blend into the tree, add a little pop of white. My fireplace is still going, by the way. I've had to restart it a couple of times because of how long this is taking. I've dragged all my ornaments over to this tree marshalling area, shall we call it. I just store them in this ornament organizer, wow, I'll say that five times fast, that I got from Kmart last year. I have a whole bunch, actually the majority of my ornaments are from H&M Home. I got these last year, but they have very similar out again this year. This is kind of my color palette that I went with along with a deep red tone. These are also H&M Home. But a few tips I do have to share with you guys in terms of hanging decorations is to work in colorways or usually start with your base color and get a fair bit of that on and then sort of move along to the next color and the next color and that way you know that they'll be really spread out um, and you'll have a nice even placement of all the different colors. I also like to use ornament hooks where possible. It just makes it easier to hang further into the tree and off random branches if they're if things aren't sitting right with the little loop or string or whatever else has been attached to your ornament, ornament hooks are the way to go. What else can I share? Uh, I like to use different textures and I like to really push certain ornaments into the tree, hanging them all the way through and that way you'll see them from every angle and they'll look like your tree has, real, has a real depth to it. I will decorate the whole way around the tree as well, partially because I now have a mirror there, but also because you can see through the tree in certain spots. So if you've got decorations the whole way through, it just looks more complete. I guess my biggest tip is just have fun with it. And if you've got little kids, let them throw all the ornaments on and then you can go back and finish it out later. I totally understand the need to fix ornament placement, but have fun with it in the first instance, then take a step back and you can always adjust and play. I will play with this until Christmas Day, probably. There is glitter all over the floor and glitter all over my hands, which I think means we are pretty much done. I feel like my star is a little bit too small for the size of the tree. I don't know. I don't know if there's a specific ratio it's supposed to be. <laughs> I can already see little things that I would like to tweak or change. But overall, I love the ornaments. I love the color palette. I, I like having that really deep base color and then having the contrasting light white and wood and cream. The little hints of gold, the metallics. Well, it's definitely very much a me Christmas tree, which I think in the end, that's all that counts, right? Your Christmas tree should just be a reflection of you and your family and your taste and what you like. But yeah, guys, that's the tree. Now, the last step that I need to do other than tidy up my mess is to sort out my smart Wi-Fi power board because I want to be able to turn the tree on and off with my voice. I've tidied up the cords the best that I can and plugged everything in, put on my tree collar which I had from Kmart last year and have just realized that it no longer fits the base of the tree which is kind of funny because my other balsam hill tree at my parents house it fits fine so maybe they have uh, increased the size of the stand. Anyway I've just got it sitting there, it looks okay, it looks neat. The best thing is though after playing around with it a little bit Hey Google, turn off the Christmas tree. Okay, turn the Christmas tree off. <laughs> I love that. Hey Google, turn on the Christmas tree. Okay, turn the Christmas tree off. <laughs> I'm amused by such the small things, but seriously, all that time and effort and that 
that is the best the best bit about it so I think I'm going to end this video here. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my Christmas tree come together and maybe picked up a few tips and tricks to assist you with decorating your own tree. I'd love to hear about it. So definitely leave me a comment and let me know what colors you've gone with. If your tree is already up, if you did new decorations this year or followed a particular decorating style. I just, I, I love Christmas trees and I love watching them come together. I'm really happy with how it goes in the space as well. Those deep colors on the tree really tie in with my cushions and the other decorations that I have. And I love that I've kept my media stand relatively simple because it means that the tree can really shine on its own. As a side note, I'll say that I really am happy with the tree itself. This video isn't sponsored in any way. Balsam Hill don't know who I am and I paid for the tree myself. It never was meant to be a review, but I do really like the tree. I love the shape of it. The quality is great. The branches are beautiful. And I think if you're looking for an investment in a Christmas tree, this one is a really nice one. It went together really easily. One thing I will say is if you are looking at buying a Balsam Hill tree, never buy it full price. They always have a coupon, always, and they are regularly having them go on sale. I got this tree for less than half of what the full price is listed as. So definitely watch out for sales. I feel a little bit frazzled now. Um, I'm just gonna sit and enjoy the Christmas tree. Stare at it for a little while. I hope you're all having a great day. Keep an eye out for, I almost didn't say it, but keep an eye out for the final like apartment decorating decorations reveal and like I mentioned at the start if you do want to see how I did everything else in here and in here um, I will have that linked and there'll be a playlist of all my previous year Christmas decorating videos if you are curious okay I'm really going now bye guys I'm back just for one second I did manage to get a, another star this is the Glitter Tree Star, I think it's called, from Target. It was $10. It's that little bit bigger. I think it's the right size for the tree. I did want to share one final tip. I don't ever actually put the star on the top branch. What I always do is use a bit of wire or like one of those cable ties, twisty ties, anything like that to just attach it to the tree like wrapping it around rather than actually slitting it on top. That way it doesn't really matter how big this coil is because you don't need to fit it over anything. And I find that this way is much more secure. It's less likely to fall off and fits well. I'll just come back here a little bit. I know it's a bit hard to see with the window open, but there's the star and I'm very happy with it.